So if you're looking to brand and design your own Kajabi login page for your account, this is the video for you. I will also go through and show you how to actually log into other people's Kajabi sites if you've purchased anything from them and actually log into your Kajabi account. I do get questions from people who have purchased from me and other Kajabi users and actually have got a Kajabi account themselves. They get a bit confused where to log in, how to log in and actually how to design their own login. So in this video, I'm going to cover them all and I'm going to start by just jumping on over into my Kajabi account. So here I am inside my live Kajabi account and all you have to do is on the left hand nav bar, just click under website and then just click into design. So this is the design, this is the live design that I use for my homepage and across all of my uh, Kajabi pages. So I use the streamlined home, it's an Encore 1.6 currently. And to go and edit your Kajabi login page, you, you need to just go into your website pages. So you can either navigate through here or you can go to landing pages and or website pages. So in here, this is the page builder for my homepage. All you need to do is select the little drop down and then go into login and then you can edit or custom your login page from here. So this is the page where anyone who've bought anything from me, any of my students, any of my coaching clients that have a program with me, if you just click preview, just pop this out, this is what they are going to see before they log into my site. So if they have any programs, products, they need to go to timpeatman.com forward slash login and then this is the page that they're going to see but i've edited this just to make it look in keeping with my brand and this is how i did that so um anything on your website pages are going to pull through the same header and the same footer as all of your other website pages so what are website pages these are all the drop downs here it's great if you can use as many of these as possible because all you have to do is edit a header and footer once and it will populate across all of your website pages. So this login page is a website page. Now, I tend to take a lead from Kajabi. So if I was just to go and open up a new incognito, it is app.kajabi.com. This is Kajabi's login page. So it's basically saying sign into your account, email address, password. That's what I would look at. And if I was to go to timpeakman.com, any one of my students or customers or clients, they will see this little login in the top right. So they will click that login and then they'll go straight to the login page. So this is what we're looking for. So I take a lead from Kajabi, what they're saying and everything here. And I've just put login to your account. The default here did actually just say login, email password and um, sign in or uh, submit or something like that. But what you can do once you have um, actually edited the header and the footer, and I show the header and footer, you can hide the header and footer, but I show them the header and the footer just so they know they've got a bit of branding on there. So they've got my branding, they can go back to the home page by clicking on my branding. So within this then you've got a custom block here that I've just called login and then you can actually show an image if you wanted an image to appear above your uh, title here. I don't typically think it needs an image. You could put an image of yourself, but I've put a logo in here just for demonstration purposes. But because I've got it in the top left here, I don't really need that. But you can customize the image width. So if you were to play around with um, 200, 250, you can see um, how your image or your logo grows and shrinks compared to that size. But I'm just going to click um, uncheck the show image and just have it like that. Uh, anything you want to customize in here, just click into it. You can now customize the, the copy just directly in here. Um, or you can come back out, go into the login, and then you can have a look at um, the button. You go into the button, the button just says login, that's what I've put. You can have a look at selecting a button background. Use your color palette for your design, your branding. Um, I have it on full width um, and then I have it uh, as large. So it actually appears um, all the way out there. So you could have it as auto. So depending on how many words you actually type in it, it depends on how wide it is. But I just have it on full width and it is solid. Background, I actually have an image. As you can see, there's sort of... Um, some hex patterns here. I've just uploaded an image that's in keeping with my brand um, and then I've just centered it 
and that's what I use. You can actually go into background color and you can have lots of different background colors if you would like. Um, and if you can have them transparent, you could sort of have it like this. But anything you don't want, you have actually got undo buttons here. So if I didn't want any of that, you could just undo it, click save. And then a good reminder here is a forgot password. Any of the people logging into your account, you can actually now um, edit this text to whatever you want. But what I try and do is again, I like to take a lead from Kajabi. It's really simple. The terminology is simple. You can even edit the terminology, the language here. Um, I've just put log into your account. I've had welcome here, sign in before. Um, and then I've just put email password, remember me and forgot password. Really, really simple. But yet you can actually make this uh, a little bit more designed to your look and feel of your brand. So that's basically how people see my login page. Now, if you have bought anything from other people that you know that are using the Kajabi platform for any courses or memberships or any coaching programs, simply go to theirdomain.com forward slash login. And typically uh, that is the page where you need to log in to their account to get access to their programs. If you have purchased Kajabi though, simply go to app.kajabi.com and then this is the home page for your Kajabi account. Log in with the email address and password that you created once you've purchased Kajabi. If you have forgotten your Kajabi password, just click forgotten password and check your emails. So that's it. That's how to actually design your own login page. Nowhere to go if you've purchased programs from other people and then actually how to log into your very own Kajabi account. However, if you're not a Kajabi user right now, I am a Kajabi partner. I can get you an extended 30 day free trial if you wanted to check out this platform. Simply head to timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi, get access to your free 30 days, take it for a spin and see how you like it. As this is an affiliate link, all that means is if you continue to be a paying customer of Kajabi after those 30 days free trial like me, part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. But if you do sign up to Kajabi using my link as a thank you from me, I'm going to grant you access to my course Kajabi Unboxed. It's going to take you through what I would do if I hit the reset button tomorrow, what I would do first, second, third, fourth and fifth, how to open my Kajabi account and set it up the right way for scale. And if you continue to be a paying member of Kajabi, I'm going to grant you another course. Just reach out to me tim at timpeatman.com show me your receipt and i'll grant you another course which are my sales page templates all you need to do is download them from my kajabi and upload them into yours these are the sales page templates that i use and implement in my kajabi account so that link once more timpeatman.com forward slash kajabi get access to your 30-day free trial take it for a spin and i look forward to seeing you again on the next video